Thank you to Snack Buddy for this video idea. So today's goal is to try to achieve a 5 star island in Animal Crossing New Horizons without spending any bells. Seems simple, right? Eh, not really. When you consider all the things that benefit you that you have to purchase, you quickly can understand why this challenge will be so difficult. It's already pretty hard, if not time consuming, to get an island of 5 stars, but doing that without spending bells means no flower seeds, no tree saplings, no bushes from leaf, no furniture, no bridges, no inclines, no able sisters, no nothing. This arbitrary handcuff that I've given myself essentially means that I need to make a 5 star island in the most natural way possible, with DIY furniture, flowers from other islands, trees grown with fruit, and doing enough of all of these things to offset the fact that I can't do things like build infrastructure. The exception being that I have to buy plots to let 10 villagers move in, as 10 villagers being on your island is a requirement for 5 stars. You need to buy 4 plots worth 10,000 each, so sue me. You gotta spend a few bells. But the spirit of the challenge is that we need to make a 5 star island without falling into the corporate fallacy of buying all your goods and services. Let's get started. An unfortunate consequence of not spending any money is the rats aren't going to be able to put food on the table if I don't buy anything from them. Sylvia and Snake, huh? I, it's not the worst start I've ever seen. I always like to name my islands appropriate to the theme of the video. Alright, well, there's not much to do on the first night, and to be honest, I don't really know how much different the first few days on this island will be compared to normal. I just try to pay off my first loan as fast as possible, considering the point boost that you get from having an upgraded house. You might ask yourself, why would you even bother donating creatures to the museum in this challenge? And the answer is because having the museum upgraded from the tent means an extra 15 development points towards the minimum 665 that you need. The information, and a lot of the information for this video is being pulled from this Nintendo Soup article. Link in the description. We'll need a lot of resources for this, as we are going to need to substitute all the furniture that we can buy with furniture that we need to build ourselves. So let's get chopping. To be clear, selling things is perfectly okay. I'm mostly going to be selling things as inventory management since, you know, I don't really need the bells. 5,000 miles has been acquired and the first loan has been paid off. I guess it would be the first, and also the last, since I don't think having a bigger house helps your point total at all. Really sucks as well that I can't shoot down balloons. For some reason, you learn all the tool recipes through either Tom Nook or Blathers, but not the slingshot. You'd either have to buy the recipe from Nook's Cranny, or buy the slingshot itself. So I'm missing out on a lot of potential stuff to decorate my island with. I think as well, fossils will be huge to finishing this challenge, because Again, I don't need to donate to the museum once I have it fully upgraded, so I can get four fossils assessed every day and use them to decorate my island with. Much to the absolute heartbreak of Blathers. Regardless, he should be happy now as we've donated the 15 required specimens to upgrade the museum. Shame, because the tent music slaps. And also, we need to get 30 of each type of wood, along with 30 iron to upgrade the shop. Okay, so that's done now. We're pretty much done with day two, and most everything we've done so far is standard with a normal playthrough. The first thing we do on the next day is we build the bridge, and it's sadly going to be the only one that we can make. I really feel as though that they should let you build the starter bridge as many times as you want, instead of it just being a one-time thing. But I digress. Now we have to set up three plots given to us by Tom and decorate them, which will have the added effect of not only getting more villagers on our island, but increasing our star rating as well. Oh, fencing! Nice! Okay, so that actually does contribute a little bit towards the island rating as well. So it's the next day, and the process of throwing random stuff down has begun. I got a lot of stone, so let's use that to make a few bird baths around. It's called Aesthetic, sweetheart. Look it up. There's another big goal that we have to do today to increase ratings, and uh, I'll give you a hint, it's not what we need to put down, but uh, rather what we need to pick up. Weeds. All the weeds. Every single one. Hold on while I scream for a little bit. Okay, I'm good. I'm actually gonna help this guy out because he can actually give you some expensive decoration items which will massively help to get a 5 star island. Uh, or that, I suppose. So I skipped ahead and we have the town hall built now. 
and the dog has arrived to tell me that my island isn't good enough. Before Isabel can tell me that my island sucks though, Tom Nook wants me to build a campsite. Let's check in with Live Dagnall to see who we get. Right. Ew! And you have to move him in. You have to. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it, dude. You have to move him in. So the next thing I do is get the four remaining house plots from Tom Nook to finally have a total of 10 villagers. You can get a maximum of 190 points through just spamming a bunch of trees on your island, so I'm gonna take full advantage of that since I need all the help I can get. Pog! I did not expect us to be at three stars. Let's go! Another huge amount of points for the island would be to get Nook's Cranny to upgrade to its second expansion. And you might think that you need to buy items to do that, but I don't think that's the case. It seems to me that you need to either spend 200,000 bells to upgrade or sell 200,000 bells worth of items, or a combination of the two. Since I obviously can't buy things though, I'm going to try to sell 200,000 bells worth of items and continue spamming items, of course. Four, 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 fuck! Alright, well, I guess we're finishing off stream on a three star here. Despite my efforts, we're still at three stars. Uh, I think one of the main things I could do at this point is completely litter my town with trees. There are two categories of points that are counted towards five stars, scenery and development. I feel as though I have plenty of furniture on my island which counts towards development, I think it's the scenery that is lacking, this being the lack of trees and flowers. So, let's go crazy. Okay, natural environment has been going up. I'm glad that you at least acknowledge that. That doesn't mean our work is done, not in the slightest. The natural landscape. Girlfriend, you just told me that the natural environment just got better. Like, is this furniture now? Too many flowers. There's an unfortunate limit to the amount of trees on your island before you begin to be penalized for overabundance, this being 190 trees. Since, you know, I didn't really count each tree, I must have gone over at some point. You know what that means. So what you need to do... Okay, no more overabundance. No more overabundance, but I'm still at three stars. Okay, no more overabundance. We're good. With that fixed up now, Isabel reminds me that I don't have very many flowers on my island, mostly because of how much of a pain it is to go to Mystery Islands and grab flowers from there. Being that you have to dig them up individually and risk breaking your shovel, I've been kind of avoiding it, but, uh... I'll bite the bullet. With more flowers planted now, let's check in once again with our updated rating. Let's fucking go. Can I see five? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, I was a uh, little, little wishful thinking there. So, with scenery rating seemingly taken care of, the name of the game now would be to worry about Nook's Cranny to upgrade and spamming furniture. You can't crowd the furniture around too much, otherwise it will be considered clutter. So I need to get furniture in any way I can, be it shaking down trees, crafting it, getting it from villagers, whatever. And then I need to evenly place it all throughout my island and hope that it's enough. Much to my absolute shock, it seems as though flowers are now the reason as to what is holding me up. I was so hopeful that after decorating my island head to toe that it would finally be enough, but nope. Flowers are an easy problem to solve, luckily, as getting them from Nook Miles Islands is easy enough, albeit tedious. Plus, I can water my existing flowers to boost my score as well. I really, really, really hope that this is it. Here we go. And there it is. It is totally possible to get five stars without spending bells at Nook's Cranny, on inclines, bridges, or anything. I didn't even end up getting Nook's Cranny to upgrade, I never built the Able Sisters obviously, so... 
It's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. As proof of my work, this stamp right here would be filled in should I have ever spent bells during this challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. As you probably noticed by now, I stream a lot of Animal Crossing New Horizons over on my Twitch channel. This video in particular was filmed quite a bit over there, and I will definitely be doing more in the future, so go follow. Thank you so much for watching again, thanks for the support on the channel as always, and check out my other Animal Crossing Challenge videos on my channel. I'm sure you'll enjoy them if you enjoyed this one.